من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه ومن دعاه بدعواته إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Respected brothers and sisters, those who are listening through Azan Radio and other media, uh, this session is to understand how important zakat is in our life and how we calculate our zakat and we get so much reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has given us the opportunity, those who are wealthy or having some kind of uh, position, some kind of wealth, that they are able to pay zakah. We all are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those who are not seeking zakah, not receiving zakah. Those Allah given us ability to give zakah to others, this is the ni'mah of Allah. If we are in other group that we need to seek zakah, we'll be not doing this ibadah, and we'll be not getting so much you know, amal in our life to add in our book of amal. The zakah is one of the five pillars of Islam. So, buni al Islam ala khams. Shahada first, second one as salah, third one as zakah, fourth one, <coughs> huh? So, what will you say? Iman, yani shahada, then salah. Then zakah, then saum, siyam, fasting we are doing, then hajj. So one of the pillars of Islam. And many people are not able to perform this pillar because they don't have money, they don't have a set to pay. Alhamdulillah, those who are of us paying either little or more, we are practicing a, a pillar of Islam, alhamdulillah. And it is very rewardful. Very, very rewardful, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, you know, commanded in the Quran almost 82 times with uh, salah. Aqeemu salah wa atu zakah. Aqeemu salah wa atu zakah. Establish the salah and perform zakah, pay zakah. Okay? And he is uh, saying in the Quran, many of the ayats, that those who will be going to Jannah, one of the quality of them was they were paying zakah. Even Surah Al-Baqarah in the beginning, وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ وَالَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ One of the criteria of the muttaqi that they pay zakah, they give fisabilillah, which I have given from the, the wealth I have given to them. <coughs> and this is this zakah word has a meaning. What is the meaning of zakah? Lexically, it is purification. Also, it is increasing. Also, it has a meaning of blessing and meaning of, you know, praising someone from their taskiyakam and purification of the heart, taskiyat nafs, giving a person recommendation, character certificate with the so-and-so, I know him, he's a good person. This is called in Arabic taskiyah. Telling him that he is a, a good person, praising him or some kind of this. This is I I linguistically, lexically, but in terms of the Sharia terminology, that we it is a ibadah from when once one become owner of nisab, certain amount he reach to the threshold, then he need to pay two and a half percent of his zakah. Okay, uh, giving charity. Okay, so this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, you know, made not huge amount, just two and a half percent. If you have, you know, one thousand, just twenty-five pound. Pay and nine hundred seventy-five pound is yours. And other twenty-five percent Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given to you in your pocket, and testing, are you giving it out? It is his rezek or your rezek. Rezek given by whom? By Allah. From what I have given them rezek, they give charity. 
So if you have 1,000 pounds in your pocket one year completed, then this is your money in your pocket, but 25 pounds belongs to the fuqara. In their wealth, there is a right of the beggar who is asking, who is in need, and those who are deprived from the wealth. It is their right given in your pocket, in my pocket. We are not allowed to hold it. <coughs> and this is purification for us. It's not a tax. I know when you give tax, you feel not good, very good, you know. If a, you know somebody you know, is a, um, paying a penalty charge, if you uh, park uh, your car in wrong place and you're paying it. Literally, I was very hard two days ago, three days ago. I have to pay 265 pound penalty because I didn't know somewhere parking you know, allocation area is suspension in the night time. I park and even read the notice. Following morning, I'm searching for my car, my car is there. It is taken to car pound, and I have to pay 265 pound. It was very painful, of course. Qadr of Allah, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, it's not thousands of pounds, alhamdulillah. But zakat is not like that, mashallah. You're giving, it is not gone from you. It is coming to you multiplied many times, many fold. It is gone to your, your account. Your account is purify your sins, your stinginess, love of the wealth. There is impurity there. Everybody loves the wealth. See, anyone can say, I never love wealth. I never love money. Anybody is here to raise their hand? Allah. If you see your bank statement telling this time, mashallah, much better than last time, we are very happy. What to al mala hubban jamma. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, You love wealth so much. He knows, he knows, he's testing us. Yes, loving, because it is our need. But love of the wealth makes stingy that you don't pay zakah. Allah, this is disaster. This is curse of Allah for you. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in Surah at tawbah number 103, min amwalihim biha. O Prophet, you take from them their wealth, from their wealth a portion, sadaqa, which is zakah, you purify them and you make them, they are achieving, eh, uh, increase as well. To zaki, a zakah is numu, is more, more tanmiya, is more uh, improvement, is more increase. Allah will give you barakah. It will not decrease your wealth. As you know, the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ma wallahi, he is swearing by Allah three times, wallahi, 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 ma naqasa malum min sadaqah. With sadaqah, with giving in the way of Allah, with charity, with zakah, with sadaqah, your wealth will be never, never, never decreased. <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase it. So if you say you have a thousand pound, you have given 25 pound now, are you expecting Tomorrow, next month, that will be 2,000 pounds. Increasing is totally automatically, materially, no. In his numu, is barakah, blessing. Be blessing, mashallah. Some people have less income, but their life is full of blessing and barakah. Mashallah, barakah. Barakah you cannot touch, you cannot see, but you can enjoy. Allah will give it to you. Okay? So, and then he said, continues, O Prophet, when you take this zakah from them, وصلي عليهم, you make dua for them. May Allah give barakah in your life. Barak Allah fi mahalika, fi ahlika, fi nafsika. Inna salata kasakanun lahum. O Prophet, وسلم, when you make dua for them, it gives them peace, rest. MashaAllah, and assurance. MashaAllah. So, the, all this come through. Zakah. If you are a zakat payable person, you are so fortunate that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has make you, you are able to pay zakah. And making, performing an ibadah, which is rukun of Islam, pillar of Islam, which will take you to Jannah, inshallah. And uh, zakah is a purification of wealth 
and purification of ourselves. Our money will be full of impurity if you don't give zakat of that. Whole money is now impure. One year gone, you're not paying zakat, your money is impure. And so it is purification of your wealth. And also purification of your soul, heart. Because everybody loves money to increase, but you are taking out some now. You sacrifice this. This is giving you purification in your heart. You are not bakhil. You are not stingy that you are so stingy that you don't pay zakah. So this impurity is gone from you. You are achieving purification. This is, as you know, the giving zakah is very important. And people pay zakah normally in Ramadan because of two reasons. Of course, any good deed in Ramadan is increasing, inshallah, multiplied many times. Alhamdulillah, we want to achieve that. Secondly, uh, zakat will be paid not according to the Gregorian calendar. It must be according to the Islamic calendar, Hijri calendar. There's a difference of 11 days each year. So lunar-based calendar, Hijri calendar, is less 11, year, 11 days then Gregorian calendar, normal calendar. If you are calculating your zakat according to January, December, February, like this, then you'll be missing every year one, uh, 11 days zakat. Therefore, it is important we follow the Islamic calendar, lunar calendar, and uh, that's why uh, we, we follow an Arabic month. So most Arabic month we know is Ramadan. We don't know when Muharram comes sometimes. We don't know when Jumad al-Ula come, when, you know, like this. But every Muslim knows Ramadan. This, that is one thing, your diary is very clear. Okay? So once, uh, you know, you're in your life, certain amount of time, money came first in your life, you write down it is in your note that I had no money before. A nisab is an amount, threshold, which is nowadays 361 pound, silver value, okay? The zakat will be uh, given not in all assets, I'm coming to that later, inshallah. So only uh, four, four kind of items zakat you need to pay. You have many other assets you don't need to pay. Let me just mention what these items are so it will be easy to uh, uh, enter to the subject in a better way. So zakat will be paid in four kind of things only. Four kind of asset and wealth. Number one, if you are a good farmer, there is zakat on agricultural production in few things, not all production, like rice, wheat grain, uh, all uh, these kind of things, you know, which is main food grain. I'm not, we are not farmers here, I believe, so we, we don't talk about this uh, main one. We'll be talking about the money and gold, uh, etc. So this is one kind, that's which is growth. Uh, we grow through agricultural you know, process, the agricultural production. This is one kind of area where zakat is uh, given. Second one, uh, the cattles. There is zakat on four kinds of cattles. You know, so this cow, goat, sheep, camel, these. So you don't have many cows here, I know. So you're not talking about this, inshallah, goats are not either. So this is the, the cattle uh, we are talking about. Third kind of uh, wealth, zakat is given, gold and silver. Al-dhahab wal fiddah. Al-dhahab and fiddah, gold. And that is represented today by money as well. So money come with the area of gold and silver. In olden days, there was no money, carry, notes, all these. What was there? Silver coin, gold coin, all this gold and silver. Even today, the banks, the state banks should be issuing notes according against the gold they have. If they don't have the gold, they produce the, print the notes, print the note, this is nothing. Very soon all will collapse. So money is originally gold and 
silver. Okay. So this is the third area of zakah where zakat is applicable, money which is include gold and silver. Third one is the business uh, uh, commodities, commodities for sale. This is the four areas zakat is needed. If you have ten houses, not for business, for rent, there is no zakat. You have hundred bus coach serving from London to Manchester. There's so much money here, invested, no zakat. So I'll come all details later. Just give a hinting now. What are the main points you need to focus? Inshallah. So zakah is a very important ibadah and it is very rewardful. And not giving zakah is a kabira sin. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, he'll be asking people, why you are in the hell? If they said, we didn't pray, neither were paying zakah. And not paying zakah is very, very sinful. In one of the ahadith, their punishment is very severe. Very severe punishment they'll be uh, facing in the Day of Judgment. One occasion Rasulullah sallallahu said in a hadith, Man atahu Allahu malan, falam yu'addi zakatahu, whoever Allah has given, okay, wealth, that he is, uh, he's bestowed with wealth, and he doesn't pay his zakah, musthila lahu yawmun qiyamati shuja'an akra, that wealth will be made to appear before him on the day of judgment, in the form of a bald serpent, a bald snake, dangerous snake, with two horns spots. Lahu zabibatan, it has spots, you know, in the face, so too dangerous, too scary. Okay? So, and it will do what? Itawwikuhu yawm al qiyama, his neck will, okay? be encircled there with on the day of resurrection with this snake. Whole body from, from the feet to coming, 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 coming. Yeah? To wrap him and making its face towards his face. Then, uh, then it will hold him from, the, uh, from in front with its two Jaw bones and say and biting his cheeks here. And amaluka and akanzuka, I am your wealth, I am your hoarded treasure, which is never given zakah. If you give zakah, you have so much money, inshallah, in the bank, it will be not considered you hoarded. But if you don't give money, is zakah, then this wealth is considered as hoarded, not paid zakah. That's so this snake will bite you. Your money became now a snake in the Day of Judgment. And very dangerous snake. Very poisonous one. And then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam quoted a Quranic ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah uh, uh, Ali Imran 180, Surah Ali Imran 180, Allah, after that, this hadith he said, ثم تلا هذه الآية ولا يحسبن الذين يبخلون بما آتاهم الله من فضله هو خير لهم بل هو شر لهم سيتوقون ما بخلوا به يوم القيامة والله ولله ميراث السماوات والأرض والله بما تعملون خبير. Okay, so this Quranic ayah in Surah Al Imran, ayah number one hundred eighty, the translation of this ayah is. Uh, in fact, this hadith, he was saying tafsir of this ayah, 180 of Surah Al-Imran. And let not those who greedily withhold what Allah has given them of his bounty ever think that it is better for them. They are holding, meaning they are not paying zakah of it. Rather, it is worse for them their necks will be encircled by what they withheld on the day of that resurrection. And to Allah belongs the heritage of the heavens and the earth. And Allah of what you do is fully aware. So this is the punishment of those who are not paying zakah. 
And there is another ayah came uh, for them as a punishment of uh, not paying zakah, and that is in Surah uh, at Tawbah, ayah number 34. Surah Tawbah, ayah number 34. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentioned another punishment of people who deny to give zakah. They don't give zakah. He said, وَالَّذِينَ يَكْنِزُونَ الذَّهَبَ وَالْفِضَّةِ وَلَا يُنْفِقُونَهَا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ فَبَشِّرْهُمْ بِعَذَابٍ أَلِيمٍ And those who hoard gold and silver, including money, and spend it not in the way of Allah, meaning not giving zakah, give them tidings of a painful punishment. What is another painful punishment? The day they will be the day when it will be heated in the fire. يَوْمَ يُحْمَ عَلَيْهَا فِي نَارِ جَهَنَّمْ فَتُكْوَى بِهَا جِبَاهُهُمْ وَجُنُوبُهُمْ وَظُهُورُهُمْ The day when it will be heated in the fire of hell and seared therewith will be their foreheads, their flanks, and their backs. And it will be said, هَذَا مَا كَنَسْتُمْ لِأَنفُسِكُمْ فَذُوقُوا مَا كُنْتُمْ this is what you hoarded for yourselves. So taste what you used to hold. Those people who are not giving zakah, two kinds of punishment. One is serious, dangerous snake python. When encircled them, this python is their own wealth becoming the snake to bite them. And other one, Allah will heat this gold and silver in the uh, in fire of the hell and will chop their forehead, sides, and back as a punishment of their wealth. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfi to give us zakah. Now coming to the next point, zakat, who is uh, payable of zakat? Upon whom zakat is fard? There are three or four conditions, prerequisites, conditions. Number one, a person should be sane, aqil. If a person mentally handicapped, but a lot of money in his account, he doesn't need to pay zakah. The person who is handicapped, who is, uh, you know, whose brain doesn't function, his sense doesn't function, not in sa sense, he's sane, uh, he's insane that he, even f uh, Salah is not far upon him, fasting is not far upon him, Hajj is not far upon him, same as Zakah is not far upon him. And then, second one, Baligh, reaching age of puberty, like Salah is not far upon uh, a person until he reaches a certain age, is it? Baligh. But there is ikhtilaf about this. Some of the ulama said, no, uh, zakat is fard upon uh, the person who is not even adult. It is still fard because it is in the wealth. Khud min amwalihim. Take from their wealth the Prophet the zakat. So Imam Abu Hanif said, no, there is no zakat on the, those who are not reaching adulthood. But other imams say, no, it's upon every rich person, even though he's minor. And number three, it should be Muslim. It's not for the upon non-Muslim. It's, it's Muslim. Number four, Sahibun Nisab. Sahibun Nisab means owner of wealth equal to above Nisab level. That is Nisab level. What is a Nisab level? We'll be coming to that very soon, inshallah. If, if this is a threshold, this is the some kind of, uh, you know, uh, I'd call it <laughs> some fixed amount of money. If it's less than that, there is no zakah. If it's reaching that, then there is a level of zakah. As I said, uh, it, it, this time it is 361 pound. Okay? Uh, and uh, uh, coming to details later on, just a theory background first. This is the, those people who are giving zakah, they are, you know, rich, rich reaching the level of nisab. If somebody's income is less than that, he's have never saving 361 pound in the life, he doesn't need to think about paying zakah. 
Now 361 pound for this year, last year was a bit less. Year before was a bit less, as you know, because gold and silver's value is increasing. Now, how you know you are, uh, from when you'll be zakat payable? It is in your account this month, 500 pound. Last year was only 200 pound. You are not giving zakat now. When 361 pound in your account first, Nesab amount come in your account first in your life, like you are a child, you are growing up not having any job, so there is no money for you. Once you are starting job or business, then you start getting money, you got fast month salary, as the salary is, mashallah, like you are getting 30,000 pound, 30,000 uh, you know, per year salary, so fast month received, so what date? 1st of January or 30th of December, I received my salary. Write down in your diary. So this time it's 2,000 pound or 1,000 pound or, you know, or 500 pound came in your account. Write down. <laughs> Write down. Then after one year, minus 11 days because of lunar month. Okay? So after 355 days, Yes, I, I believe. For 54 days, which is lunar, uh, you know, uh, year, 354 days, you look into your account, how much money now? If it is you know, 5,000, then, you know, uh, each thousand is 25,000. If it is now in your account 5,000, you'll be paying how much? 125 pounds. So, two and a half percent, okay? So this way you write down your diary and follow this in your life. Every year, when you pass from that date, 354 days, again, second anniversary zakah. Next year, 300, uh, you know, 44 days uh, coming, 50, 54 days coming, your zakat day, zakat anniversary is taking place. So this way your whole life cycle goes. Okay? This is those who will be giving zakah. Who will be receiving zakah? Uh, should I come later for that, maybe? If I miss, remind me, okay, inshallah? Uh, coming to the uh, receivers of zakah later, inshallah. Uh, come to the, which kind of uh, asset you need to keep in your mind? Personal assets, something there is no zakat probably. Business assets, yes, zakat. Debts owed to you by others coming to your account. Debts you owe to others need to sub subtract. Thus, you know, I'm giving the list now, coming to details, talk about, about this. And then calculate it to give your zakat, inshallah. We'll be defining what is nisab, when to pay zakat, uh, uh, and uh, yeah, like coming. Now, personal assets. Uh, you, you have many personal assets. All assets owned for personal use are exempt from zakah. You have a big house, mashallah, one million pound, very nice house. You bought it, you are living there, no zakah for that. You have a car, mashallah, very expensive, mashallah. You bought, spent good amount of money, no zakah. So, what is zakah uh, liable? Uh, zakah, uh, uh, from zakat except cash, you need to pay, gold and silver, which are always subject to zakah, and business commodity, uh, business asset, you need to, not all things in the business, there are a lot of assets, not everything is zakat payable, we are coming details of that later, inshallah. So zakat is always paid on the balance of the assets owned on the zakatable anniversary and not any fluctuating figure during the year. So in the beginning of the year you have 5,000, in the middle gone to 1,000, or below nisab even, you lost all money. Then again come back, money came back, and in the, in the year it could be uh, more or could be less. 
end of the year, if it is now 4,000, give the cut of 4,000. 3,000, give the zakat of 3,000. Only 1,000 gives zakat of 1,000. In the beginning was 5,000. But in the end of the day, zakat anniversary day, what is your latest balance? Zakat will be decided on that. In the beginning, in the middle, could be more, could be less. Don't count all this. Just sitting in the zakat anniversary day, you don't need, some people think, subhanallah, I don't know how much money I earned, how much money came, I didn't write down all this. How much I spent, I didn't write either that. You don't need to do all this. Zakat is easy, easy, easy. So sit down, today you are sitting down to give zakat, what money you have today? What is in your pocket, in the wallet? What is in the bank? What somebody he have uh, given him, loaned him, he'll be paying back? All this will come together and make, yes, this is your money. What money under your position today, if you sit down? How much you own money today? This form or that form? That you need to look into only. Today is the balance. You don't need to look anything of whole year. Income and expenditure. You don't need to look into. Is clear? It's very easy. Just today, what you have, you are owner of the money today. Right. Uh, right, and zakat is uh, also payable in livestock and agricultural crops, we told that, and if a gold and silver asset is owned for personal use and is made from a mixture of metals including gold or silver, then zakat is only payable if gold and silver from the majority of the asset. Somebody, some city has jewelry of mixed gold and something else. Which portion is more? If gold portion is more, then you pay zakat of the gold portion. That's why there is a difference between a zakat of 18 carat and 20 carats and 22 carats or 24 carats. So because 18 one is something mixed, it, is, it will be a bit reduced. So, you know, uh, that's why we need to know that uh, gold plated personal jewelry is therefore not subject to zakat due to above. Something gold-plated, very significant, insignificant amount. This is ignorable. Although we are not allowed to use any kind of gold uh, stuff for our uh, as cutlery, like a plate, a scarf, a spoon, gold, silver is not allowed. Haram, haram, totally haram. Okay. Now, business assets. What business portion uh, asset zakat is payable? clear intention to resell the commodity. Zakat due on entire asset value, always use selling price or market value. If you have a shop, grocery shop, what kind of uh, stuff you have, or your stationary shop, say so you look one day or one night you allocate have some all stuff coming, or you may bring your family and children. You have 20 shelves in your shop, okay? And 20 shelves, each shelf has how many racks? Maybe four, five racks, okay? One by one. This shelf, four racks. Top one, what is the amount here? Rough calculation. I take a note and paper. This first one, here 50 pounds stuff here. Second one, 70 pound stuff. Third one, 100 pound stuff. Fourth one, 200 pound stuff. All colors, this is done. Second, you know, shelf. Third shelf, fourth shelf, fifth shelf. You go to look what kind of business commodity you have for resale. This way you calculate your all in a shops, the commodities you'll be selling. Not the other stuff. You have freezer, big, big freezers. You are, you know, uh, keeping all the frozen items. You have spent a very good amount of money. You don't need to look into this. This shop, you have uh, paid some kind of position, 100,000 pounds to get in the highest street a good place. This is investment. This is, there is no zakat on that. You have so much machine. You have a coffee shop. You make coffees. You make a coffee machine, other things. <coughs> No zakat. Only coffee, the raw material, 
any production you have, any kind of biscuit and other things you have, how much cost? Sit down now, look into this. You have chair, table, many expensive kind of other kind of decoration, no zakat on this. So this coffee shop, you spend 10,000 pound. Zakat liable maybe only 1,000 pound. Other 9,000 pound, all other stuff, which is not for resale purpose, there is no zakat on that. Is this point clear? Somebody have a restaurant. In the restaurant, he is selling, you know, uh, of course, all this food stuff, and people are having lunch and dinner. His restaurant costs so much money to bring chair, table, dining table, and other things, and all these uh, crockeries and many other. He spent there 50,000 pounds, 100,000 pounds. There is no zakat on this. Only zakat, he have rice bag over there. He have some in the fridge, the meat or the fish, the vegetable, where he'll be cooking and selling. He has sugar, he has tea bags. What is the cost of all this? If he has spent 100,000 pounds, when we zakat our item is maybe only 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 pounds. All these are only zakat items. item. So, a clear intention to hold as an investment, this is investment, something different. One is clear intention to resell, that is zakat due. But if it's clear intention to hold as an investment, then not whole thing is zakatable. Zakat not payable on market value, but payable on net income from asset. As I said, your coffee shop cost 10,000 pound, uh, your, your income and some raw material you have, the money, cash, bank in the cash box, this is only zakat payable. Zakat only payable on stock and cash. Zakat is not payable on goodwill or fixed equipment. Is clear? Okay. Number three, <clears throat> clear intention to decide if asset is property. So no zakat payable on your property if you are for residence purpose or it is for the rental purpose, for giving it rent. You have one house, two house, three house, ten houses, one you leave, other one you give for the rent. How much for the investment? It could be one million, you know, it could be two million. There is no zakat on this asset value of all these things because it is investment. What is zakat liable? You are getting income, 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 coming to your account in the end of the year, Zakat anniversary day, sit down, okay, I have all this rental income came, how much? Is already spent gone? How much is now saved? This is you are paying Zakat off, not the value of the house. But if it is business purpose, you are real estate businessman, real estate business you have. So you have 10 houses, 20 houses uh, you bought and you'll be reselling it now, looking for market. These houses are considered as business asset. Then this 10, 20,000, uh, 10, 20 houses value all zakat payable. If you have a 10, 10 houses to sell as a business, you bought and you're selling it, what will be the cost? Half a million? I'm, what I'm talking about, maybe more. One house cost, for, for, for example, Huh? Huh? Do you pay zakat after you sell the houses? Of course, if you cannot pay now, once you sell, then you pay. But it is in your obligation now. What the value is in obligation. Okay? Once you are having money, if you don't have money at the moment, you are not paying zakat. Once money is in your account, either you're selling it or other money, because this house has a value. This value, zakat on the value of the houses because it is for the business purpose. It is, these houses are considered as business commodity. So there is a difference between business commodity and house you bought to, to reside, to live, or to use for rental purpose. So there's a big difference. Okay, I'll take question later on. Just to understand the concept first. So the houses concept is for your own living on, even if you have one house here in London, 
another house in Manchester, another house in Scotland. All for living purpose, you go and you have a very rich man. There is no zakat on that. Uh, you have houses to rent, there is no zakat on that, only their income. You have houses you bought to resale, very clear, it is like a business you do, then zakat on the whole value of the property. Liable. Zakat is liable on the value of the property. Okay. If you bought a house and uh, no clear intention, you got money, some house is a good offer, I buy it. What is the purpose? I'm not sure making my residence or I'll be making it for rent, uh, rental income or I'll be selling, uh, I don't know, I'm not clear yet. So I bought it. Then not, not zakatable item yet. Later on, once your mind is fixed, what is, is going to do this, what purpose? Then it will be taking hukum of zakat, not now. Again, a little bit more details. Intention, a business asset, intention not to resell immediately. Like business owners, zakat payable on a stock and cash only, as we said earlier, not on goodwill or on capital equipment, property, etc. No zakat. Shares. Zakat is not payable on value of shares. Zakat is payable only on the cash balance and stock valuation. This needs calculating. Okay, what does it mean? Are you, is there anyone uh, have share in BT, for example, British Te Telecom? Anybody has any share? The, you know, stock exchange, they, they will, their share is sold, is it? Buy and sold. There are some people buy from there. This company, you are a shareholder. Okay. So you spend uh, uh, buying their share of 1,000 pound, 5,000 pound. It is, you are not paying zakat of the whole money. Because this is kind of, it is a business company, is it? So what they have, probably I'm giving an example much easier, like a garments factory. A garments factory. What is the, uh, you know, cost here? The garments are one million pound or 100,000 pound to buy this building. 100,000 pound buying the missionaries, all fixtures. These two have no zakah. And 100,000 pound is the raw material imported and the production is ready. All these probably are almost one and your cash you're selling and buying. So all your cash of the business, your stock to sell, and your raw material which you'll be producing, all value, valuation of all these with zakat payable. So this factory has investment of 300,000. Zakat payable things are only 100,000. And 2,500 pounds, the investment, there is no zakat on that. So if you have a share in this factory, you paid their 1,000 pound share you have. So how much zakat you're going to pay of this amount? Is 1,000 pound your share in this factory? You just pay 5,000 of 1,000 pounds? No. No, this 1,000 pound is not all zakatable item. Your 1,000 pound is here used a portion, one third used for machineries to buy. 1,000 pound for the other, the, the in fixtures, uh, I, I, the, the land and the house, all other things. Your zakat portion is only the company has production, raw material and some cash. So that means your 1,000 pound zakat is not fully 1,000 pound zakat. You'll be paying zakat of maybe? Okay, one third of amount of maybe. But most of the companies, anybody here in working in a very business organization, big business organization, nobody's here. Like business company, big companies. Their asset, their factories, sometimes only 20%. Most of the things are fixtures and other things. 
and sometimes it is a uh, goodwill brand too much it, it is in the market the share price is very high all these are zakatless zakat payable only cash have this company had the cash and the material to sell resale or the raw material it is area so it is they have spent at the billion pound million pound only 20 percent may be zakat payable so how you make sure which portion is zakat payable of this company there is a technique you ask company their annual report they'll give exactly what is their cash what is their income what is this 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 and they will also mention other things they have you know the machine this these are not mentioned here they'll be giving an annual report what business they did from there you can get an idea how much is zakat payable from your investment you done from them you bought the share for them this is called buying share for investment but there is another kind of share a stock exchange sell buying and saying buying and sell do you are you aware of that yeah, this is you, 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 you sit down in the night time today oh mashallah good deal came you buy it tomorrow morning you're going to sell it so this is different kind of share uh, business this is called a stock exchange share business this one wh what is the amount of zakat of whole amount because you bought this share to resale and other one big company investment not to resale that is its investment and this one is for business so this is the criteria you know differentiate between uh, the the long-term investment and between the, this resale purpose that is a big difference okay uh, now coming to the more uh, the debts area alone you took from people and people took loan from you when you sit down to for zakat criteria what you do uh, of course if it is your uh, you have given loan to somebody you are expecting he'll be giving you back so it is your money so t today when you sit down to calculate your zakat see how much money I have uh, given loan to somebody and expecting she'll be giving me back it should be added in your zakat and anything you need to pay back you need to uh, abstract it minus it so in the end what is the balance pay zakat on that now question come, somebody is, uh, you know, uh, giving me loan, uh, I have given him loan, he's not paying me back. The one you're expecting he'll pay back, you are not worried about, this, in, this is called a strong debt. So inshallah he'll be giving you back, including Qarda Hasana. If you're giving Qarda Hasana to the masjid, you're expecting it back. If you ask today, they'll be giving it today. You need to pay zakat of that. However, if any masjid says, Sorry, uh, our fund, uh, funding crisis is happening. You, you want to get, get it, they say, oh, we cannot give it to you. When? We don't know. Then you don't pay zakat of that. Not only masjid, some individual took money and he is not able to give you zakat, pay you back now. So you don't need to pay. Once you receive, pay that separately, that amount, zakat. Uh, could it be somebody cheater or he has uh, something in his mind he took from you 1000 pound loan I'll be giving you next month not six months gone he's not giving one year gone he's not giving he see you he's escaped he goes another road you shouldn't meet him <laughs> you have become very uncertain then uh, you are not giving zakat because you are not you're, you're worried about your money how will you be giving zakat of that don't give it now once you receive alhamdulillah found it he given back then pay that one year zakah, not all five years you have been waiting for, no, just one year. So this, that is strong debt, that is weak debt. Weak debt, weak loan, which you are worried about, are strong debt you are not worried, inshallah, you need to give zakat of the uh, uh, strong one, weak, weak one you can delay, once you receive then you'll be in zakat of one year. All right. Right. <clears throat> now, uh, one thing is the Islamic home purchase plans. 
some people buy in mortgage, okay? So mortgage people, of course mortgage, general banking mortgage is haram generally, but there is some Islamic formula as well. However, if you took in a mortgage or Islamic home purchase plans, take about mortgage one now first. The mortgage, general mortgage people take, although it is not allowed, it is based on interest as you know. However, you bought it. Now you're paying each month a, a certain amount of time, as, of money. Now if you are worried that if I pay zakah now it will uh, impact on my payment, then you are maximum can do 12 months in advance payment you may deduct for your zakatable item. Each month you are paying how much? 500 pounds for example. Okay? Now in each, each year, 5 into 12, 60, Almost 60,000 pounds you'll be paying as mortgage, okay? In, no, I'm 6,000. 6,000 pounds you'll be paying as mortgage. So you have now um, in your cash 15,000 pounds. If you are worried that my monthly payment will be affected, then you are allowed to deduct 6,000 pounds from 15,000 pounds. What is the rest? 9,000. So you'll be paying zakat on 9,000 pound. Why not paying zakat of other 6,000 pound? Because you'll be paying back to, as, as if it is loan, you took mortgage, okay? So Islamic home purchase plans, Murabaha scheme, in the Islamic, anybody buy, uh, bought the house through Islamic formula, 12 months of future installments can be deducted from zakatable assets which we have given the example. Ijara and diminishing Musharaka scheme, Islamic bank, Islamic finance has two mode. One mode is Murabaha, for that zakat is payable. I mean zakat is deductible. What is Murabaha? Please, could you handle your phone please? Ya Rab. Allah Dik. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Murabaha scheme is allowed in Sharia to buy Islamic mortgage. So how? Bank will buy house. He said, I'll buy uh, this house. I have no money. You borrow money. They'll say, no, I cannot borrow your money. We can only buy and sell to you by making some profit. Fine. Buy for me. And they will sell to you. They bought it 400,000 pounds and selling to you by 500,000 pounds. You are paying now in every month. So this is called murabaha. They made profit through business reselling to you. So this, this one, if it's difficult affecting your payment, then you are allowed to deduct next 12 months zakat amount. That's a given example of 15,000 pounds you deduct 6,000 pounds and pay zakat of 9,000 pounds. Now another formula of buying from Islamic mode, that is called ijara and diminishing musharaka. That is scheme you cannot deduct, why? Because these are not considered as debt, therefore no future payments at all can be de deducted from zakatable assets. This house you bought with 400,000 pounds and you paid 100,000 uh, 100, uh, uh, pound and bank paid 400,000 pound. Musharaka, sharing, okay? So you are paying him, uh, 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 you know, this rent. So you are owner one-fifth and bank is owner of fourth, four portion, you are owner of one portion. So what is the rent of this house, marketplace, market rent, if it is, for example, 2,000 pound per month? What bank will get from you? Four portion, that means bank will be getting? 1,600. And 400 is your portion, you're not giving it to the bank. And also you slowly, slowly paying the main 400,000 pound of uh, bank given, slowly you are also giving something. 
So this is, he didn't borrow money. It is sharing. Therefore, here you cannot deduct the next payments from zakatable amount. Because here it is not as you are under uh, the loan concept. It is a different concept here. OK. Now, recapping, zakat is, um, zakatable item is personal asset like gold, silver, and cash only. Zakat is uh, liable on these gold, silver, either jewelry form or bar form or whatever is the form, and your cash. So add fully value of business assets. Business assets, if you, have, you are a business holder, you have business, you have your own personal asset, so you need to add together. So your personal uh, asset, gold, silver, and cash, cash at home, cash in the wallet, cash in the bank, cash in the, under the pillow, wherever it is, all fine together, and silver, gold, jewelry, whatever it is, if it is reaching to the Nisab, I come into the Nisab later on, uh, add full value of business asset, uh, if intention is to resell immediately, add zakatable value only, not full value of business asset, if intention is not to resell immediately, as we say, long-term investment, and all this fixture, the companies, uh, factories, we don't need, no? Uh, and add debts owed to you by others, this is your money, add this as well. Subtract qualifying debts you owe to others, what you will be paying, and then pay two and a half percent. And now coming to the, all this old theory, little bit of example practically brought, now real practical one comes, Nisab, are you owner of the Nisab? Nisab was set by Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at 20 miskal of gold, or 200 dirhams of silver, uh, so, and 20 miskal of gold nowadays called, uh, you know, uh, it is uh, 87.48 gram. In Bengali they call it uh, seven and a half tola. So 87.48 gram gold, if a sister has, it is zakat liable. And its value in the markets nowadays uh, just uh, this week's rate I checked, 4,575 pound. If the gold amount is less than that, there is no zakat on this gold. Okay? And if it is silver, then 612 grams of silver. 612 grams of silver. If the silver is only 600, not 612 grams, there is no zakat on this silver. Uh, you know, jewelry or whatever uh, form is. Now, money, what is the amount of money you'll be talking, looking? The minimum is a uh, 20, or uh, sorry, um, six, uh, 87 gram of gold price is very high, and 612 grams of silver price is very low. That will be considered in the money as your zakat threshold. And value of uh, 612 grams of silver nowadays is 361 pound. For five ago, days ago, I confirm with a very good Muslim, reliable, knowledgeable businessman. He has a shop, jewelry shop. So if you have 361 pound in your account as cash, you are zakat payable person if Nisab is there. If you have only 360, 350, you are not zakat payable. But this amount is not necessarily just came this month is zakat payable, no. This amount or more stays in your account for whole year, 354 days. It just came six months ago, there's no money before, no zakat. Nine months ago, not yet. So one year is complete, the lunar year, then in minimum 361 pound there, then you are zakat payable person. You got the nisab, zakat threshold. Now, if you have not only 361 pound, you have 1,000 pound, you have uh, 20,000 pound, you have 5,000 pound, now 2.5 percent is zakat, 2.5 percent, I calculate and give the zakat.
So zakat only paid when you are at, at or above the nisab level on your zakat anniversary. If a person cannot remember the date upon which he, she first became sahib of nisab, owner of nisab, you don't remember. And it, it, it never given. So many people are, I meet them, they say, subhanAllah, uh, I did not know that I need to pay zakah. For how many years? 10 years? Very many people. Okay? They thought you were a millionaire, you give zakah. <laughs> okay? Then one should make the best estimation. <clears throat> best estimate. Oh, it was, I think, five years ago. Which month? Maybe January. Maybe March. Write down in your calendar. And you have to find, you know, uh, uh, next year, again, remember, 354 days, not 365 days, okay? If an estimate cannot even be made, then a date should be selected, which is then stuck to each lunar year. So once you are becoming, many people choose the month of Ramadan, that's fine. Write down your diary, 5th of Ramadan, 10th of Ramadan, I give zakah. So every day, that is your anniversary, uh, zakat anniversary. The selected date does not have to be in Ramadan. It could be any other month, but as I said earlier, people choose Ramadan because of two reasons. Mostly it is uh, easy to remember uh, the lunar month because we know the Ramadan. Zakat should be distributed as soon as possible at the very latest within one lunar year of the calculation date. Maximum within one year. Although it is due today when it's Zakat anniversary, but if we think there is some reason, I'm delaying. I know some people will be giving them, uh, you know, uh, it will take time. If you give them one go, they will finish. I know some my poor relative, poor neighbor. If I give them a whole amount of money, they'll finish within two months. And next month, they'll be hungry. So you plan to give them, you know, in, in monthly basis. But if uh, all account is done, you write down somewhere, Wasiya will, if you die, may Allah give you long life. Your family knows. You have only paid two months zakat, and the 10 months rest is there. They need to give it. Missed zakat should be calculated to best of one's ability and paid, as you said. Now, giving an example. Okay, I said um, I'll be coming back to the who are zakat receivable later. Okay, whatever you heard until now, I'll be asking you, you'll be tested now. Is there a um, personal car you are using, very expensive one? Is there any zakat? No. Thank you, past, mashallah. Clothing, you buy very, mashallah, branded cloth, very 5,000 pound. Is there any zakat? No, no mashallah. Furniture, 15,000 pound? No. no, good. Okay. Personal gold jewelry to use, 2,000 pound cost? Yes. yes. Thank you, mashallah. Okay, there is a question here. Some of the ulama said there is no zakat on personal gold. Many of the ulama said that. Personal use, there is no zakat on that. I should uh, tell you some of the ikhtilaf about these came by uh, many of the scholars. Okay? Um, many of the ulama, for example, uh, Imam Malik, Imam Ahmad, Imam Shafi'i, and they are referring to uh, uh, Sahabi Anas and Jabir and Abdullah ibn Umar and Aisha and Asma radiallahu anhum jami'an. They said there is no zakat on the usable jewelries of the gold and silver. What they use, not for business purpose, not for the holding, just only use, there is no zakat on that. This, this is the opinion of all this. But against that, there is opinion of Imam Abu Hanifa very strongly. Zakat is due on gold and silver, even though it is jewelry a sister is keeping for her use. Even though she doesn't use every day, it is three, four, five sets in her box. She needs to pay zakat on that. Okay? And Imam Abu Hanifa's this opinion is later, later on taken by many scholars. Even Sheikh bin Baz, Sheikh bin Usaymin of Saudi Arabia, they followed the madhab of Imam Muhammad and Hanbal, but they said no, Imam Abu Hanifa's opinion is more strong is based on the Dalil. What is the Dalil of Imam Abu Hanifa? I said that one day there is a hadith. Inna imra'atan atata nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa maaha ibnatun laha wa fi yadi ibnatiha miskatani ghalidatani min dhahab. Abdul ibn Amr said that a, a lady came to 
ask Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam a question, and she was um, um, bringing with her a child, a girl, and this girl has two heavy kind of bracelet or or bangle, okay, well, of gold, heavy, quite heavy. Then he asked her, "Do you give zakat of this jewelry your daughter is wearing?" She said, "No, ya Rasulullah." قال أيسرك أن يسورك الله بهما يوم القيامة السوارين من نار. Do you want to see that the, she will be uh, Allah will be giving you bangle of fire in the hellfire in the day of judgment? She was scared by hearing that. فخلعتهما فالتقطهما إلى النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وقالت هما لله رسوله. She was so affected, so scared, she took off from her hand. And given to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ya Rasulullah, give it to the charity. I don't want to take this risk. This is the hadith dalil. Another case. Aisha radhiallahu anha narrates. دخل رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فرأى في يدي فتحات من ورق. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam entered to my house. He found very heavy. I I I arranged. I bought uh, some two heavy bangles of silver. I wearing in my hands. In my list, I carry. First time he noticed it after I bought it. He, she said, "Mahada." He said, "Mahada." What is it, Ya Aisha? فَقَالَ صَنَعَتُ هُنَّ الْأَتَزَيِّنُ لَكَ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ I made it to beautify myself for you, Ya Rasulullah. Allah. فَقَالَ أَتُوَ الدِّينَ زَكَاتَهُ Are you giving, planning to, plan to give zakat of this? قَالَتْ لَا أَوْ مَا شَاءَ اللَّهُ No, I never thought. If Allah wanted, I will. فقال حسبك من النار. If you don't pay, it will be enough for you to go to hellfire. This is second hadith. So from that hadith, many of the aima and sahaba taken this opinion that there is zakat on the jewelry made of gold and silver. How, however, if there is other kind of form of jewelry, very expensive kind of, you know, other material they call it diamond. Very ex much more expensive than the gold. There is no zakat on that. Pearl, diamond. There is no zakat. And how come you say this? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, you forget your sense. Throw it in somewhere else. Follow Quran and Sunnah. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala given you, mashaAllah, uh, free something. Why don't you are taking it? Okay, alhamdulillah. Okay. So. This is the Sheikh uh, Bin Baz and Sheikh Bota Osama. They said Abu Hanifa is right here. So, alhamdulillah, that zakat should be given on the jewelry, right? So, and jewelry, which value will be given? The market value generally, of course, old one, little bit of less, and that's why I have discussion with some knowledgeable jewel, jewel, jewelry shop owner. They said it is. We used to say say 12% deductible, to be, should be deducted. Nowadays he's saying 12% will be better from the current market rate. New new rate, you deduct the old one, 12%. So if the value is like 3,000 pound, you deduct 12% and see how much it bounced. So zakat will be out that amount. Okay. Next question. Somebody owns 50% of home. Worth 275k, diminishing musharaka, diminishing musharaka finance. He has finance of 100,000. Uh, he has cash is 100,000. Now he'll be, what will be zakat payable now? Is there anything deductible from him? Didn't buy from the other mortgage, murabaha. He bought a diminishing musharaka, an ijara concept, getting rent. Paying rent and he and bank is sharing, so he will be paying. He have hundred thousand in his cash. So what he'll be doing now? There is nothing is deductible here. The next payment is not deductible because he, by paying rent, is one thing. What he paid is gone. Is gone. What he has the money now. He's he paying back to him. He's buying from them the share. Every amount is buying share from them. Therefore, it is not easy loan concept. It's clear. Okay. Right. But if it is 
normal mortgage, he's allowed to deduct 12 months advance he'll be paying. Okay. Then a sister uh, or owns half of another property, rented out. A person has his own house and to live, and he has another property, he's getting rent from there. It, its value could be 500,000 pounds. It could be 200,000 pounds. <laughs> Is any zakat of the value of that house? Okay, good. Then sister has an optician's business, which has a stock of glasses and contact lenses worth 20K. This is her business. 20K, her, uh, this uh, material is available. Is zakatable or not zakatable? Yes. yes. The house, she, uh, you know, have the picture of many other things, asset, have 10,000 pound, any zakat? No, thank you. Cash in her business account totals 15K, that is cash. In her personal account also 10,000 pound cash. Which one will be zakat payable? Both. Both. 10 and 15. Which is her, his cash in the business and 10 is the personal account. All 25 is zakatable. Own some shares in BP for resale only. 200,000 pounds, resale purpose. Zakatable or not zakatable? Yes. Zakatable, okay. She has lent 3K to her friend, 3,000 3, loan given to somebody, and she's not worried about getting it back. Zakatable? Yes. Okay. She has a personal pension chosen to invest in the Sharia compliant ca cash account uh, I didn't discuss details of the pension one. Pension one is problematic. The uh, Olama is discussing in a huge way is a pension scheme a fund. And that that uh, pension fund scheme is zakatable or not. Uh, I, I'm personally not very aware of this. Whatever I try to understand this concept, I found two of the opinion. Okay, is pension fund, is it accessible easily? No. Uh, that depends on, huh? Yes. How, how yes then? But is, is now, can you get it now? Ah, it's stuck somewhere. <laughs> if it is stuck somewhere, then some of the photo board internationally given uh, fatwa, because although there are your money you contributed as well, and government is, uh, or, or the company is contributing for you, it will come to you one day, but not in accessible now in easily. Therefore, you don't give zakat of that. This is one of the opinions. Other opinion is, if it is stricter one, well, if you try to get access, there is a way of getting access. The Lord, why can you explain? Probably you will be able to explain. If you want to get access to your pension fund now. Only 25 percent. Only 25 percent. Good. This is giving a clue. In the age of 55. Before that, no. Okay, fine. Good, good point. So in the before age of 55, your pension fund is scheme, not, nothing you can worry, there is no zakat on that. But once you reach 55 age, you want to get some access to the fund, you'll get only 25 percent. Huh? Tax free. Tax free? Tax free? I, we, we tax, that is another question anyway. Many things is account. Okay. You can withdraw and you'll be paying tax. That's a good point. Yes. If you can withdraw more than that, you can withdraw the whole of it. So you get lump sum. Sometimes you get lump sum. Huh? And then on top of that lump sum, you get some amount every month as well. So you have to take the lump sum to consideration as well. Okay. However, if you want to get hold of it, you'll be able to get it, but you have to pay tax. Now, some of the other fatwa board ulama said that you need to calculate when you are only allowed to take 25%, then you pay zakat of 25%. When you are, have access to the whole of it, what percentage of the tax will be uh, charged? Deduct that amount. Then pay rest of the amounts 
zakat. This is a suggestion of the, some of the ulama. It will be too much either. Money is not under <laughs> your use. So there is some of the ulama say, no, it is not zakatable. There is some fatwa came. It's still, um, ulama are in, in, in internationally discussing this issue. OK? Right. I will skip that. Uh, she is, uh, this uh, sister is, uh, owes 5K to suppliers of glasses. She didn't pay. It is due. What she need to do? Can she deduct this one? Yes. yes. Because uh, is, uh, uh, as if it is loan to somebody she need to pay back. If three years of worth in of installments are outstanding on furniture purchased, total debt outstanding is 6K. Three years worth of installments are outstanding. Now you have money, mashallah, 10,000 pound in your cash. But you owe to this furniture company, but you have an arrangement of installment payment. OK? Uh, so each year you pay some amount, which will be uh, outstanding will be 6K. You have 10K. Are you uh, 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 deducting this? All, all of it? Why some of huh? Ah, if it is you are affected, you will be it will affect your things. Then maximum twelve next installments amount you may deduct. The ulama said if it doesn't affect, better to pay whole of amount. But if it is really affecting yourself, you find hardship, then you deduct only next twelve months installments only. Okay, coming back again very simply. Personal car, clothing, furniture, zakatable or not zakatable? Okay, gold, zakatable or not? Jewelry, non-jewelry? All, yes. Main residence, zakatable? No. Investment property for long term to get a, a rental income? No. Not zakatable. A stock in business? Yes. Cash? Yes. Shares? What kind of share? For resale. A long time investment? No. Different. Okay, we got. Okay. Money owed to somebody? Yes. It depends. It is easy. Now, you know, this installment, forget about this. You borrowed money from somebody. Okay? Money owed to somebody. That you deduct, you, 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 you're, you're giving to somebody a loan back. Yeah. Giving loan back, you deduct it, okay? But you are, you have lent money to somebody, then it, 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 you think if it is strong, you'll get it, alhamdulillah, you add it in your zakatable item. But if you are, have a question mark, this man either not giving because he cannot afford, I don't know when he'll be able to give, then a pause there now. Don't give it now. Once you receive, then give one year quickly. Even though it, it spent five years to get from him, just one year zaka. Okay, money to supplier. <coughs> yes, it's deductible because uh, somebody supplies something. You, it, it is uh, you owe to pay to him. Okay, right. Khalas. Inshallah. Mm, this is okay. Now, who are zakat receivable people coming to this area, okay? Who is uh, uh, receiving our zakat? First of all, three kind of people cannot take zakat. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> one is of course, person should be poor, of course. Uh, 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 who are receive, zakat receivable? Let me read this Quranic ayah first. Okay. <coughs> there is eight kind of area where zakat is usable. Zakat, you can spend. This is in Surah Tawbah. Okay. Innama uh, sadaqatu, Surah Tawbah, ayah number 60. Innama sadaqatu lil fuqara'i wal masakin. Indeed, sadaqa will be given to the poor and miskin. Okay, the poor is poor, you know. What is miskin? Masakin, needy. 
What is the difference between poor and needy? Poor, that's his meal up to day is not there. And needy is, alhamdulillah, he's, he's okay, but he has um, some problem, he cannot meet that. Bit of hardship. He's not in that desperate, but he is in hardship as well. So he's second category, fuqara. And then, wal amilina, all masakin, number two. Number three, wal amilina alayha. State appointed zakat revenue collectors. Not some kind of charity organization employed. Some people can say, oh, they are working here, so they're collecting zakat, so we give salary from that zakat. No. The state, Islamic state, appoint zakat department employees to collect the zakat and to disperse the zakat. And they are called al alayha. Their salary will be given by zakat, from zakat fund. Even the person is rich. He's getting a salary. He's not getting zakat from zakat fund. And then, وَالْمُؤَلَّفَةِ قُلُوبُهُمْ Those whose hearts have to be reconciled. Who are they? Prophet Sallallahu given some zakah to some of the Arab uh, tribal leaders to make them, they become Muslim. If zakat is given, they'll become Muslim. One day he's given the tribal leader huge flock of goat. He said, he came to see Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi discussing about it. Some didn't take Islam yet. He has said, take all this for you, gift. All, the, all this between two mountains, all, all goats, yes, all goats for you. He took shahada, <laughs> took all goats, uh, the whole flocks to his tribe. All people, everybody become Muslim. See, Prophet gives so much, subhanAllah. He doesn't care. So to bring people to Islam, it was in his time. And then, even though he is rich, you're allowed to give him. So this is allowed, al muallafati qulubuhum. Okay? That to win their heart. Is it allowed nowadays or not? This is a big debate, a big discussion. Some of the scholars can say it's not allowed anymore because at that time, Muslims are minority. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was giving the message of Islam. So because of zakat, they'll be coming, inshallah, he'll be teaching them Islam. And that happened, in fact. Many of them became really true Muslim. Nowadays, this is, Islam is, is not, Muslim is not, uh, people are not uh, minority. Muslims are not minority. How a big number? We don't need to. This is second opinion. Third opinion, it could be only allowed by the Muslim authority, Islamic State, true Islamic State, not so-called these kind of you know, countries where there is no Islam is practiced, not by them. Therefore, we are not allowed to give a zakat to Hindu, Christian, other non-Muslims from zakat fund, neither fitra fund. It should be zakat and fitra should be collected from the Muslims rich people, and it should be distributed uh, back to the, new, uh, to the Muslims who are poor. For non-Muslim, you are allowed to give any other charity. Here it is allowed. Any Muslim or non-Muslim poor, hungry, uh, homeless, we are allowed to give them money, cash from our own money, own sadaqa, not zakat and fitra. Okay. Uh, next on, uh, the one who is, uh, uh, man, uh, you, you know, emancipation of the slaves. In the olden days, there was a slave one to free. He said, um, my price is like 10,000 pounds, as you know, in the market. I paid it to you. I want to make myself free. Uh, and uh, he is allowed to take zakah to free himself. He some wanted to encourage people that the slaves will be freed through that path, which is nowadays is not in practice, as you know, reality. Debtors, somebody is not that poor, he's mashallah food, he's living, he's, uh, he's abnormal, but he's under the debt of huge debt. His life is miserable. People are chasing him up, he's escaping, he's hiding. Cannot come to them <laughs> out of home, people will grab him. Then this person is allowed to take zakat to pay back the loan. The next one, uh, you know, al gharim al sabilillah the one who is uh, in the way of Allah. Way of Allah is uh, too um, big issue. Uh, and I, I'll come back to that. And last one is way of Allah, the Musafir, somebody, a rich man, gone to another country. Suddenly, his wallet is dropped somewhere. 
bank card or phone, nothing, he is now penniless. This man, who is a rich man, now he need to pay taxi bill or he need to eat himself, uh, you know, uh, even to phone call, he, he need to buy a phone, everything is lost. On the spot, temporarily, he's allowed to take zakah even. He could be a millionaire originally. At the Fis Sabilillah, what is it? Fis Sabilillah, at the olden days, it was considered as jihad and qital for the to different deen of Allah, to buy uh, you know, arms and ammunition, paying the salary of those who are in the battlefield, and uh, their family, their salary, everything from that farm. That was originally Fisa Billah as used. And there are minority scholars consider extended. Is there anything not necessarily always, nowadays could be the uh, another uh, war is not in the, uh, always in the battlefield, war in the media. To defend Islam through media, you need to find a good Islam, you know, media to defend Islam. From that photo, Zakir Naik used to take some zakat for running his TV. And some people go to run the mosque, it could be to have a mosque with them zakat. Many scholars said, no, not acceptable. Well, people should spend money from their pocket. And madrasa to run. Well, with madrasa, there is a little bit of ikhtalaf, some of them allowed, some of them say, if it is totally um, not possible to run at all, it will be closed, many poor will be not afford to pay, you know, uh, to go to the fee paid madrasa, then it could be considered a little bit of consideration there. So these are the zakat receivable people. And also, even though you're, um, you're, you're, uh, you are not allowed to give zakat to poor who are your parents or grandparents, you are rich. No, you can, you, I cannot give them zakah. Why? Because you are his son, you are his daughter. You must, if they are poor, you must feed them. One of the men came, uh, oh, Prophet of Allah, this is my uh, father, he's always asking me money, always asking me money. He's annoyed by his father asking money. He said, Anta wa maluka? An, a, a, anta or Maluka? Lahu. You and your all old belongs to him. Why are you annoyed by your, by your father is asking something? Anyway, father should not be doing zulum upon the son. He has enough money, just he's very greedy. That is something different. Anyway, so your parents, if they are poor, it is your duty to do bedul walidain. Huh? Ihsana, Birul Walidan, it is what it is further upon you to feed them from your own wealth, not zakah. So you cannot give to the uh, you know your uh, ascendants, uh, um, who parents, grandparents, who are, and neither to descendants, your children, your grandchildren. No, if you are rich, your children are poor, your grandchildren are poor. It is your obligation to feed them. Allah gives them uh, you this family responsibility. Zakat should not be paid to the Hashemite uh, family, Prophet's family, which you know they will not find that much, uh, you know, uh, problem, Allah alam. Anyway, so these are the main areas I hope I have covered, but the rest of things, if anything is missed, you may ask the question, so we discuss and clarify if anything unclear. Okay, uh, all clear, Mashallah, just fadl. Okay, if your nisab level sometimes drops below nisab level, but if it is generally fluctuating, but in the beginning, in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the in the end, or somehow it is, uh, alhamdulillah, came back, that's you need to pay. The latest one is, alhamdulillah, fine. But if it is in the beginning only, in the whole year dropped, in the end came again, then your nisab is cut off. So in the new Nisab is started now. This year you don't pay. But if it's a little bit of on of off, you ignore that. Okay? So keep that Nisab is that you are beginning of the year, in the middle somewhere, somewhere gone, somewhere up, somewhere down, down, but in the end again, generally in average you are Nisab owner. Nisab has to be for one year. Not everything has to be one year. Not everything has to be one year. You understand? So as I said, many of the scholars consider that 
In the beginning, there is a sob, and later on, somehow it dropped. If you want to, uh, if it dropped for a long time, then you, you, you ignore this, you, you lost the sob. But it's a short period of time, temporarily ups and down, it happens. Even sometimes, look, some million years, sometimes suddenly drops everything. Then suddenly up. So they'll be not doing this fluctuation is ignorable. The long term is noticeable that you consider that. Okay? Thank you. Hmm. Do you have a more savings and you get more salary on the same month? Do you have to pay the, uh, on the salary? Yeah. So when you are zakat anniversary comes the day your salary, salary received yesterday, yeah. it is added to your, your wealth. But if it is, you'll be receiving tomorrow, today you zakat anniversary, it is not counted. Hmm. Tayyip, no. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you can give zakat to your brothers, your sisters, your close relatives, your uncle, your aunties, your nephew, your nieces. Allowed. If the condition is brother, sister not eating with you in the same pot. Okay? Because if, if he buys something from his zakat amount of money and you're eating with him together in the same pot, that's why. If he's eating from different pot, his, his family is different. I mean, his food is differently cooked with his family, no problem. Brother, sister, uh, all close relatives can take zakat, only parents and uh, up and children and down. These two areas are just uh, are not allowed. Okay? If somebody died or a brother died, he left behind a huge amount of debt. There is no way uh, to pay back the debt. It look, if there is a way to pay back, they should, uh, his, his children should, I mean, his inheritors should try to pay it back. However, if there is nothing to pay back, he never left money, then uh, he don't need to sell his house, you know, so he can pay uh, uh, off his debt from zakat if there is no money left in his, as inheritance. Okay? Fadal. Um, if uh, someone um, keep money from a uh, long time, hmm. then he take, uh, start a new business. Hmm. But he spent all his money, example, 40,000 or something. But um, the business is new. And example, if I count today, he got uh, 5,000 in his account. So is it? OK. Brother has a scenario. A person has long term. A, a, a holding or reserve of 40,000 pound cash. Now suddenly, uh, you know, just a couple of days ago or a couple of weeks ago, he invested already 35,000 pound. That's remaining is 5,000 pound. What is the zakatable item now, zakatable money? The five, of course, this five zakatable, of course, but this 35,000 investment in the business, what about this? Not uh -huh, you're confused now. This 35,000 pound, you look now, if he bought uh, the possession of the house, 20,000 pound he spent before Zakat anniversary day, it's gone. 10,000 pound he spent in the fixtures and chair table or furniture, other machineries, gone. Gone 30. 5,000 pound in some resellable item, for example, it is a restaurant or coffee shop. He bought such coffee stuff, sugar stuff, or rice, or, 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 or to make the bread, bake the bread, uh, flour, and other things. These are only 5,000 pounds. So in that case, 5,000 cash and 5,000 invest in the business, which is saleable item, these are altogether 10,000 pounds. Then 30,000 pounds is exempted because he already invested in the long term, which is not saleable items, not a business commodity. Okay? Okay, khalas? That's all? Jazakumun khair? Okay, I can see on the hand, okay? Could you please explain what is the solicitor's business? Hmm. Solicitor's business firm, for example. Okay, his uh, position of the housing, uh, you know, of this, he bought it, uh, or the other kind of, you know, uh, furnitures, there is no, nothing zakatable. He is getting the fees from the customer. He is charging them. Whatever he, he took, of course, uh, and whatever he spent, 
all gone, whatever is remaining in his business account, money-wise, that is accountable. What he'll get the fee, he did the work, it didn't come yet. He was very sure, he may add that, he was not sure, he didn't receive it yet, so khalas, once he, it will go to next year's one. Okay? He'll be paying something, is, uh, he need to pay, for example, the rent. Um, is, is, is some bill came, for example, a good point. Your uh, bill came, uh, electricity bill, gas bill, telephone bill, all came here on the table. You are not paid yet, so you can deduct this one. But something is due in the office, they didn't send it yet. So don't uh, deduct that one. Okay? There's a difference. There is a second hand there. Uh, coming, back, coming to you, inshallah. Uh. Islamic mortgage property is for as a residence? Bought as a residence? Rented. A residence or rented, same thing. Okay, if it is two kinds of Islamic mode, one is murabaha, that is, there is a uh, you know, uh, you can deduct 12 months if there is uh, difficulty of paying back. But if it's ijara and musharaka, you don't deduct. You, you, yeah, you pay the whole zakat money, yes. On the market value property? No, 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 on, not on the property. There is no zakat on this kind of property because it is a residence. If you have cash, additional cash, surplus cash you have, which is zakatable, do, do you pay whole zakat, uh, zakat of whole amount, or you deduct something which you'll be paying back to the bank? That I was discussing. But your question is that whole uh, asset of the house, there is no zakat on this. Either you, you bought it for your own residence or using for rent purpose, no zakat on the value of the house or the property. Only if it is your, your real bis, uh, estate business person, you buy and sell, buy and sell property, then on the whole value, zakat should be given. That is no problem. Rental income, you receive it. If you spend, that is no uh, money left, no zakat. Whatever is saved, it, it's coming to your own money, khalas, add to that. Okay. You get it or you give it? No, no, you get it. You get it, received it. Yeah, you receive it. Okay. Uh, advance. Not yeah, alhamdulillah. It's uh, up to you if you uh, supposed to be given back, so given zakat, because uh, money is on your hand. But if you think if somebody, he says, after six months you want to leave the house, I need to give him money back. For example, if it happened. If you're worried for that, then the advance one you can put on hold. Okay? Now, Okay. You want it to be there for 12 months, mm. or at least four days, as you said. And then another line, it takes out of it, it's supposed to be about 6,000 if you leave it like that every month. But sometimes you take some of it, sometimes you put it back, and then when it is finished in the fourth day, you have only 1,000 pounds left. So what's going to be Zakat? Is it 6,000 pounds or 1,000 pounds left? Okay. okay. When Zakat anniversary comes, the day you are calculating with zakat, what is left there? That's only this one. That, that's why zakat is easy. Alhamdulillah. Padal. Say again, sorry? What was the category of the Category is? Oh, after Amalina alayha. Wal mu'allafati qulubuhum. Wal mu'allafati qulubuhum to win the heart of the non-Muslim to become Muslim. That is why Islamic authority is still allowed or not, question mark. It was allowed in the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when Islam was weak and Muslim was a minority. And some of the ulama said it could be even nowadays, but by the authority of Islamic State, not by some charity organization or somebody giving, like Christian missionaries do, go give people money so they'll become Christian. So this way we are not allowed to give money to become Muslim. Okay? Padal. Okay, right. 
So same thing, house, car, whatever you, uh, pay, even furniture, we talked about earlier, that you buy in the, in the, in the, in the installment payment later on, it's ideal if it doesn't affect your normal expenditure of the life, then you should be not deducting anything. You pay whole amount of zakah. If you are able to afford to pay, there it will be not affected. But so Ulama said, if it is affecting your payment by paying zakat amount, then you are allowed to deduct one uh, a year, next 12 months in installments zakat uh, able item, you don't consider that they are zakatable. If you are stuck, you will find hardship. Okay? G yes. No, khalas? All, all done, mashallah. Oh, the last one, yes, quickly. Okay. It's, it's ideal to choose the date, not the month only, date. But if you calculate a bit earlier, no problem. If you are going to a bit late, there is a problem. Why? Because it was, mashallah, a week, a week ago was 10,000 pound. After one week it came to 5,000 pound. You see? So that, therefore, keeping the date is a very good idea. This is recommended, in fact. Okay? Zakallah khair. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد ان لا اله الا انت نستغفرك ونتوب اليك اللهم اهد نفوسنا تقواها وزكها انت خير من زكاها انت وليها مولاها اللهم اعنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته ان شاء الله tomorrow will be in bangla আমাদের যাকাতের আলোচনা আজকে ইংলিশে হলো যারা রেডিওতে শুনতে পাচ্ছেন আগামীকালকে বাংলায় হবে ইনশাআল্লাহ পুরো